Hello and welcome to an episode of Let's Develop with Java Fun Facts. I had a discussion with my flatmate this morning about uh, string comparison, equality checks actually, in Java. And uh, he observed some pretty strange behavior. And after I played around with it a little, I perfectly agree that there's really strange things going on. And I thought I'd change some of the insights I got in the last half hour with you guys. So uh, let's get started. What I thought about string equality checks in Java is that normally you go the way to say ABC uh, equals ABC. So you use the equals method on string uh, to do actual equality checks. And uh, as expected, this works. Okay, that's so far nothing new, I guess. What I thought doesn't work is to compare two strings like this. Um, but actually, if I execute this test, this works too. So this got me a little confused already because I thought that comparison with reference identity on strings doesn't work in general. But apparently, if I define the strings as two constants in this class, then this works, so these two result in the same string instance. Okay, I thought um, this is a pretty unrealistic scenario. So what is more likely is that I, comp uh, that I compare something that is constant to something that is somehow computed, say, by concatenation. So I was pretty sure that this one would fail, but actually it works. Strange enough I thought that maybe there's some uh, optimization going on in the background so maybe this concatenated string here is somehow automatically merged because it's concatenation of two constants uh, so it could be that there's the compiler doing some optimization here so that these two are actually identical in the bytecode but I thought I, I have to define I have to find another test case that might not work. And my first idea from what I know about bytecode is that actually string constants are written to the constant pool of a class on compile time. So uh, each of the strings here gets an entry in that constant pool table. And my idea was that maybe if I have two equal instances, then they are merged to one line in this table and therefore they are identical. So I created an external class because the constant pool is managed class-wise and said, said foreign class with a public field static string abc abc should work and say assert abc equals the foreign abc and I was convinced that this one would fail, but actually even this one succeeds. So it seems to be another reason than the constant pool thing um, that makes these uh, instances actually equal. Maybe there's some caching going on in the JVM on runtime so that if the same constant is used, then uh, it really reuses the same instance. Um, I'm not quite sure about this, just some guesswork. If one of you guys uh, has the right answer, really knows what's going on here, I would be really interested in that opinion, so please drop me a comment. Um, for now, I will share with you the case where I finally got it to break. So if I define something like this, and then do the comparison, abc equals a plus bc, and I execute that, I finally reached the point where one of the assertions fails. So apparently if I really have concatenation with some variable containing something, then uh, this whole, whole thing breaks. So something else I wanted to try out after finding this is whether I can do something like that. Maybe it's uh, generally the involvement of variables that makes this thing break. Uh, of course, I need to take out this one. 
execute, uh, but it isn't. So it really is the, the concatenation, um, including a variable where somehow the JVM is not able to uh, reuse the instance ABC here. So yeah, um, I thought I'd share that little insights with you because I think this behavior is really confusing, really unexpected. Um, what you should take out of this, always use the equals operator if you want to compare strings, but if you want to confuse some people, then I'm pretty sure you can pick one of those examples or multiple of them and uh, confuse most of the people. Uh, at least this confused me. So again, if one of you has an explanation for what is really going on here, I would be uh, interested. But uh, for now, that's all the wisdom I have to share with you guys. Thank you.